many crazy cool things are coming to Walt Disney World and we are going to talk about them all up next. Welcome back to our channel. First things first, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that bell notification so that you get notified every time we release a video. Disney is not playing around. It has been one awesome announcement after another and we are going to talk about everything right now. We all love a good Disney villain, right? Well, Disney has announced that this summer a new Villains After Hours will be coming to Magic Kingdom. On select nights, June 6th through August 8th this summer at Magic Kingdom only, guests can enjoy walking around with Maleficent from Festival of Fantasy. Also, there's going to be a new villain spectacular show in front of the castle. They are going to take over Cinderella's castle. And special attractions such as Pirates of the Caribbean and Space Mountain are going to receive a villain-tacular overlay just for these events. The castle show is going to feature Hades, Dr. Facilier, Meg from Hercules, and so many more, including Jafar and the Queen, and is only going going to be available for these special events on select nights. Themed food, beverages, and merchandise are also going to be available only during this event. And your ticket price does include special treats such as ice cream novelties and water and soda and popcorn. So that's pretty spectacular itself. Something really important to note that certain Disneyards have scratching their heads about is that there's not going to be any special characters available and no meet and greets will be available during this event. That's pretty unique for Disney. Usually when they do special events, you can meet certain characters and they have different dance parties and they have things where characters that are maybe not out all the time come out for these events, but not for this event. And we are wondering why. But some really cool things is that most of the time for these after hour events, that some of the attractions, including Seven Dwarfs, and Peter Pan have almost zero wait time because this is a limited ticket event so only a specific number of people are allowed into the parks before it is sold out and guests are going to be able to enter the parks at 7 p.m. Typically these events run until 1 a.m. so that is a pretty long night. It is important to know however that even though the park does open at 7 for this event guests will not be immediately escorted out if they do not have the band so at 7 o'clock guests will start to be escorted escorted out gently through by the cast members who do not have the special wristband for the event, but they are not required to leave at 7 p.m. So be sure to be aware of that and make sure that you plan your arrival and your attractions accordingly, knowing that guests will still be allowed to remain in line if they've already been in line prior to 7 p.m. Tickets for this event start at $139 and are available in advance on night of, if there's still tickets available, which don't hold your breath because that's not very common for these events, tickets will be $144 per person. Disney annual pass holders and Disney Vacation Club members will receive $30 off the ticketed price. After hour events will go on sale on April 29th and although we do not have specific dates for these events yet, we do expect there to be a few available. So be sure to stay tuned to Disney Parks blog and to For Love of the Mouse on all of our social media accounts to be made aware when all of these specific dates are released. Next up, beginning on April 2nd, Disney has added a new photo pass to a new attraction. This is the 13th attraction to receive a special photo pass on the ride and it is Haunted Mansion. That's right, guests that are going to be taking a ride through our favorite Haunted Mansion on their dune buggy are going to receive a special photo pass that shows up on your My Disney Experience account. In order for this special photo pass to appear on your account, guests must be wearing a magic band or a magic band 2 icon and your account must be linked to your My Disney Experience in order to preview, download, and receive and purchase any of these photos. To celebrate the launch of this 13th photo pass attraction, at Walt Disney World on April 13th, Disney will also be rolling out some special photo pass opportunities at the Haunted Mansion. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And if you are over at the Magic Kingdom on April 13th, definitely go check those out because who doesn't love a unique photo pass opportunity? Be sure to share your Doom Buggy photo pass with social media and Disney with hashtag Haunted Photo Pass. 
Hey, howdy, hey! Woody is coming to Disney's Contemporary Resort July 4th through the 6th. On these nights only at Disney's Contemporary Resort, Woody and his pals will take over Disney's Contemporary for a special themed barbecue. Guests attending the event will be escorted into a larger-than-life recreation playset of Woody's Roundup, modeled after a rustic Wild Western town. Guests will be able to hang out with Woody, Jesse, Buzz, and Bullseye for this special ticketed event. Mr. Microphone will also be there playing some of Woody's favorite jams. Activities for the event will include trick roping demonstrations, camp-style carnival and games, and Toy Story craft stations. Also, there will be a balloon person on hand making special balloon animals. Guests will be shown to a special location at the Disney's Contemporary to watch the fireworks. On July 4th, you will see the special America Tribute to America fireworks, and then on the 5th and 6th will be the traditional Happily Ever After fireworks show. The event will run from 6.15 to 9.15 p.m. and will be located in the Fantasia Ballroom at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Registration will begin at 5.45 p.m. on each of these nights at the West Registration Counter in the Convention Center of Disney's Contemporary Resort. Prices for this event are $149 for guests that are 10 and up and $99 for guests that are 3 to 9. Tax and gratuity are included in this price and it is important to note that there are no annual pass holder or Disney Vacation Club discounts available for this event. Also important to note that the Disney Dining Plan is not going to include this particular event. Barbecue fare will be served to guests that include salad, barbecue chicken, barbecue pork, cornbread, coleslaw, potato salad, chili, and assorted summery desserts. Alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages will be available and be sure to bring your ID that shows you are 21 and up in order to partake in those adult beverages. Before your next trip to Walt Disney World, be sure to head over to our blog to check out the new rules and regulations that will be put in place on May 1st that may affect your traveling party. Also, be sure to head over to our blog for the post that shows you some villainous makeup that will enhance your Disney villain after hours experience and put you into character. What do you think of these new events? Which one are you excited about? Are you hoping to attend one or all of them? We would love to hear from you, so let us know in the comments what you think of the the new events that Disney's rolling out for the spring and summer. That's it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Thank you, and for the love of the mouse, never forget that it all started with a mouse.